what's up everyone so right now we are five months deep into the alx program so this is definitely to hear so i'm back again with another video just talking about the alx software engineering track and in month three at the end we we talked about uh you're going to learn like uh some implementation of algorithms in c then you have some two projects which are pretty important the python exceptions one and the python classes and objects followed by an evaluation but moving into month four uh you're going to be given you're going to start on te python test driven development which is actually pretty important because after you've learned this module anything in python you're going to be implementing it even everything in python going to be implementing tests on it especially unit tests because that's the that's the one that's going to be used majority of the time and um yeah then you're going to do some classes and objects in there more classes introduced to classes in uh, the in, in month three but now month four more classes and objects then you'll be given another algorithm to implement in c which is in hash tables so you're going to do hash tables uh, implement them in C. This is an algorithm. This is a, an algorithm that's a data structure. I mean, that you're going to implement it in C, which picks up on uh, Python dictionaries. But you're not going to implement it in Python. You're going to do it in C. I don't want to get much into it because it's so detailed in it. Then we have you know Python inheritance. You're going to do that. Python input output. Then, then we have uh, another project that. Uh, caused me problems called python almost a circle this project man was just long but it's actually pretty interesting when i look back at it because when i look back at it i just have i just appreciate like um all the concepts that you have learned in python especially from the previous month they all come to fruition here then another major uh, algorithm to deal with is uh, sorting algorithms and big o and guess what you're going to be using to implement c you're going to implement it in C. And these algorithms, you're going to use all the knowledge that you accumulated in Sprint 1. You're going to implement them here in, um, in doing these algorithms. So it has a weight of 2, which is, actually pretty, um, which is actually pretty interesting. And actually, it was one of those projects that, man, I really, really struggled doing them. Their project was about like, uh, they gave us like se 7 days, if I'm not wrong, to do it. So, uh, yeah, you have to, like, plan your time and plan how to start and implement it. So, and, uh, yeah, then then in the then the remaining two projects in um, month four, going to do some loops and conditions and passing. This is DevOps processes and signal, signaling that's DevOps. Then you do an evaluation for. But as you move, one thing I've realized, as you move deeper into the program, like, so the difficulty just keeps increasing. But that doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just does, means that you're just, you know, uh, building some resistance that you're able to understand new concepts. You don't like, um, it's like going to the gym and just, you know, just using one set of weights and instead of like progressive overload. So they try to like add, they try to keep increasing, upping the ante of the difficulty so they can be able to measure up and be able to like see if you're improving or not. So these are um, these are this are one of those things that I I realized early. So I prepared myself mentally because I knew as I moved deeper into the program, they're just gonna keep introducing like quite difficult concepts, which are not that the 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 it's not like they're that difficult to do. But with the right mindset and approach, things become much more easier. And um, yeah, that's where we sit in month four. And also they are uh, optional challenges that you can do there's the rsa factoring challenge that you're given there it's mostly math and uh command for the win which you create command lines and uh you create command line functions not even create like you're given like uh it's a contest that you're supposed to like uh you're given like a statement that says write the command for this you have to figure out the command for that in the terminal which is actually pretty fun and uh yeah so as I, I I forgot to mention when you're doing like uh these uh projects like the C stacks and queues which is Leafo and FIFO which are in the previous month I talked about it and this sorting algos you are encouraged to pair with someone and also I forgot to mention in the C simple shell and also printf you can do the project on your own or you can pick a partner to do the project with 
so it's uh, it's all up to you you can decide to work on it alone which i wouldn't encourage because i feel like if you have someone else there you're able to like learn easily and you're able to like understand the problem because you have different perspectives on how to how to go about it so it's actually pretty good to work with people especially your peers i haven't gotten this far uh just working on projects alone i had to like find peers and uh, try to find people who uh are in the same uh, who are in the same cohort and i can be able to like talk to them easily and i've done that successfully so uh, that's month 4 i'll follow up with video talking about month 5 uh, which is uh it's actually pretty um it was actually pretty challenging but you know alex do hard things uh, it's not that difficult to do so uh yeah i'll come back again with another video please be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel turn on notification post so that you never miss any new videos i'm coming out with i'm coming out with and um i'm out peace